Hi YouTube family, it's time for another drugstore haul for me. I know it seems like I just barely did that what's new at the drugstore, but you guys, I have been trying out lots of drugstore items because I asked you a question to pick out my makeup for a drugstore, get ready with me. And I'm working on that and I will have that up pretty soon, but for now, I've been trying on some really great stuff. But before we get started into this haul slash review of drugstore products, please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate if you do that. And if you're new to my channel, make sure that you subscribe before you go today. I would really love to have you here as a part of our YouTube family that keeps growing. And I'm so very pleased and very honored to be a part of this YouTube family. Believe me, it's pretty special. So let's get into what I found recently because I'm kind of excited about a couple of these things. They were really super good finds. So first of all, a brush, okay. I put this it brush in my yearly favorites. The reason is, is because this brush is, it's dual fiber. And so down here on the black fibers, it's really, really super dense. Up here, these fibers are super sparse. You can see almost down into the brush itself through the fibers, through the brush hairs. And I love this. This has been just, my go-to, but this brush is really expensive. It's like 40 something dollars. So that's expensive for a brush. I get it. But recently I was in Ulta and I found this baby for Morphe. This is a Morphe M406. And it is the same concept of the dual fibers. Now it doesn't have the angle, which I'm not as crazy about because this is just seems to be perfect for how it lays down on your cheek. But this is pretty darn good. And this is a pretty close second. And I've used it a couple of times and it does the same thing in laying down your blush really softly. And then you can build it up instead of just having, you know, so much blush at once with a regular brush that's more dense. So this is a really great find this time. I'm and the I am calling these drugstore because they came from Juvia's Place and Juvia's Place is very affordable as you guys know. There was one other brush in here that I didn't use. Um, I gave it to my daughter, but I definitely have been loving these brushes. They're very nice brushes. This one right here has been really good for blending out my contour. I really have liked how pointed and how it's, it's a little bit more stiff than most brushes, but it's really um, smaller too. So it, this could easily be used for powder around your eyes or it could be used for highlighter, but I really like blending out my contour with that. It really is good. And then the other brushes, you have two brushes right here, which are um, like fluffy blending brushes. You have a shader brush in here, which I haven't had a chance to use yet. You have a flat like concealer brush, but I use this for my inner corners. And then there is an angled eyeliner brush. I love using this brush right here. I dip it into my powder and then I'll go right underneath where I have put my eyeliner to kind of keep my eyeliner in place all day. It's big enough that it does a really good job of that and doesn't leave a really harsh line for that. So these brushes have been a really good thing to get. I got them when they were 50% off. So I thought that that was a good bargain as well. So really have been enjoying those. I came across a very interesting mascara. This is a, also a Korean brand. Um, this is called Kiss Me, and this is the Long and Curl Super Waterproof Mascara. And I really like this. It is very waterproof. So you are gonna have to use some sort of a waterproof eye makeup remover to get it off. But I really loved how it built on itself and I loved the length and the volume that it gave my eyes. So really have been enjoying that one. I love trying Korean skincare and Korean makeup because they just seem to have the corner on it for some reason. I did try the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Waterproof Mascara. I've had to use waterproof mascaras lately because so many mascaras will flake or smudge or whatever on me. I don't know if it's that my eyes water more than the average person. I do have this one on today and I do really like it. It, it builds up on itself. It has a very similar wand to the Better Than Sex Mascara and the Lash Paradise. I think that's what they were trying to dupe with this. So the wand is very similar, um, but I actually do like it a little bit better. I feel like it builds a little bit better. It gave me more volume than that. I love to have length in my lashes and it gave me length. So I really have been enjoying that one as well. Also, you guys, <laughs> we know how I am with palettes. Well, 
Okay, so they came out with four new palettes from Wet n Wild. This one has some gorgeous colors in there. This one is called Cosmic Collision. It's got these plummy colors over here, but it also has these green and teal colors over here. It has a nice black, which I'm excited to get to work with. I haven't worked with any of these, mind you. So I can only speak to how much I liked this formula when they switched over to the new packaging. This one is called VI Purple. It doesn't really have a lot of purple. It does have these two colors right here, but it really does have some gorgeous colors in here. This one is called Stop Playing It Safe, which I thought was a really cute title for this one because it has such different vibrant colors. And these are like this green and maybe this yellow right here. These are colors that I normally wouldn't reach for, but I'm excited to work with them in this little palette. And then this last one is called My Glamour Squad. This is probably the most neutral out of them all, but it's very warm tone neutral. So you have quite a gamut of colors and ranges, finishes, all that kind of stuff. So I'm excited to get to work with those and let you guys know. The I next thing I have is the It's My Pleasure palette from ColourPop. This is what I'm wearing today on my eyes. And you guys, this is just right up my alley. I have been loving this palette, using it like crazy, playing around with these colors. These colors that are the really high metallic colors, they have been colors that I have just loved, like layering them on top of some of the mattes. Like I have this one all over my lid and it's very matte. And I then I went ahead and I put the middle one over top of it and I just loved the color that it made. The purple is super vibrant in here. And then this plummy purple right here, so pretty. So it is what I have all over my eyes today. I used it exclusively. I didn't go into any other palettes. The formula in here is super creamy and blendable. I really like their new packaging. The whole thing is plastic and they do include a mirror, which they've never done before. So really appreciate that, that they've changed over to that. And same great formula. I love ColourPop and I love what they do. Also, when I was in Ulta, I went and I picked up this palette from BH Cosmetics. It's the Blushing in Bali the blush and con not contour blush and highlight palette there went the card it does have a mirror which i'm really glad to see as well but it looks high end you guys look at how nice it looks these colors are so pretty now, i am so pleased with this palette for two reasons first of all the formula is really good it's really great formula very buttery very soft when i stuck my finger in there i was so pleasantly surprised at how much it felt like a high-end product. But then when I stuck my finger into these highlights, I was like, holy smoke. And the other thing that I like so much about them is that they are so pigmented. Even the highlighters, they're just like super bright. Now that highlighter right there that is the like coppery bronzy color, obviously I couldn't use that as a highlighter but all over my lid, I just can't wait to use that. These are so pretty, you guys. I just thought this is something next level from BH Cosmetics. Now, when ColourPop came out with the It's My Pleasure palette, they were showing off a lot of their like lavender um, kind of icy colors. And I thought, okay, I need to try these because obviously lavender, you know, you know I'm gonna try it. This is the ColourPop Hip Hippo Highlighter. This is what I have on today on my cheeks. I think it's so pretty. It just gave this cool toned um, flip across my cheeks. I also do have this in the inner corner of my eye today. And I did dust just a little bit across my lips as well. I just think it's so pretty. And if you guys are struggling with texture, for your aging skin with highlighters, I would suggest that you try this Super Shock formula because it is along the lines of like a cream to powder formula. So I just take a little bit and I kind of, you know, go across my cheek like this. Whereas if you're using a powder, you're kind of swiping it a little bit. And when you're doing a cream, then you're kind of, you know, tapping it on and pressing it into the skin. Try these out. You might be pleasantly surprised with the Super Shock highlighters, blushes, any of those. I think they're great. I picked up an eyelash applicator from Sephora. Now I do not wear eyelashes hardly ever, only on a special occasion, but you guys know that I do have the palsy in my hands where I shake really bad. And so I was hoping that this might help me to apply them a little bit with a little bit more precision because when I try to do it with a uh, pair of tweezers, I end up almost sticking myself in the eye and they're sharp. These aren't sharp. So I'm hopeful about those. I'll let you guys know 
how those work out for me. From Hard Candy, this is their Sheer Envy Pore Defense Primer Serum. It says minimizes the pore, the appearance of pores, but it says it's oil-free and silicone-free. And I'm like, hmm, how can it do pores if it doesn't have silicone in it? Because as you guys probably already know, silicone is what goes in and it kind of just makes your foundation glide over it. The claims with this is that it will do some pore tightening or skin tightening. And that's where you get the look of the canvas being more smooth, more even. So I'm actually really pleasantly surprised with this. I've used it three times and each time I have had a really good experience with it. But I'll keep you guys updated as to whether or not it really is going to lessen the look of texture. And I do like the fact that it doesn't have silicone in it. It just felt really light and it went on very easy. So I'm, I'm kind of digging on that one. But I also did find this e.l.f. Illuminating Primer that one of you guys recommended that I do for the fa full face of drugstore makeup that you guys recommend. And this is really nice, you guys. It's the same exact property as the pore minimizing um, primer that I picked up that I absolutely love and I recommend to everybody. But it has just a little bit of a luminosity in it, like a little bit of a flesh tone um, glow to it. It's really pretty and it does have the silicone in it. I can feel that. So it is going to minimize those pores and help you get that, that really smooth canvas before you start your foundation, but I did like the glow that it gave too. So that was a yes. This one is from Sephora. This is one of their single blushes that you can purchase. And, but this is their contour shade and it is called, let me see here. This is called Second Chance. And that hands down is the best color for contour I've ever found. If you are a cool toned gal and you find that your contour always looks just a little bit on the side of being almost tan or almost orange or yellow, you know, having too much yellow in it. This is perfect because it comes across as just having that very, very cool toned, muddy look to it that everybody kind of needs when they are doing a contour. If you, if you are a warm toned gal, this is going to be perfect for it too. But especially if you're cool toned, sometimes it can be really hard to find a cool enough contour. Like I've struggled with that in the past, but that is such a perfect shade. And I do have Trish Oliver to thank for that. She is a YouTuber here and I was watching her yearly favorites about her blush, contour, and bronzers, I think it was. And she recommended that and it's really a good one. Okay, another recommendation from one of you guys is the Essence Make Me Brow. I like this, you guys, I like it a lot. The reason is, is because it has this teeny tiny little mascara wand on the end and it also coats every single little lash. I don't have really sparse lashes, but they, um, you know, do have pieces that need filled in. But what I find is that if I use this as my last step to kind of set my brows after I've done them with a pencil, then it makes them look even more voluminous and I really do like that. So. That is the whole entire haul, you guys. I hope that you did enjoy it. I'm actually losing my voice because this is the second video I've done today. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know if there are any products that you have found at the drugstore recently that you're just really loving because I always want to hear what you guys have to say about new products as much as you guys want to hear it from me. I want to hear from you guys too. So thank you so much for spending your time with me today. I love you all very much. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you in my very next video. Bye guys.